What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick warning of a video. Please make sure and sign one of the best box-to-box -box players in the game. I'm holding him up right here. He is an absolute beast. I'm going to show you the build. I'm going to show you some clips and you've got two days left to sign him. So don't forget with your five-star free nominating contract. Let's get into it. All right, so we're straight in, right? And from the main menu here, if you are a newcomer and you've stumbled upon this video in the next 24 hours, or, well, it'd be too late by then, but you get you get my drift. If you're a newcomer, right, make sure and check out these nominating contract players. So these players are 100% free to buy, and usually there's, like, one godly player in it, right? Bellingham is definitely one of the best cards in the game at the moment, especially if you're playing free to play, man, and you're playing Road to Glory, you don't want to spend a penny, but even if you are, this guy competes with Legends and Epics and Boosters. He's a phenomenal card if you do a little bit of work with him. You can add a couple of additional skills to him. One touch pass, first time shot, double touch. He's got everything that you could possibly want. I think his best position is as a true box to box. There's very few of him in the game that can literally attack, defend, be aggressive, but also have the dribbling and the balance that you need for where the gameplay is at at the moment, while still having passing and the physicality as well. So as you said, you can sign him for a five-star contract. If you are a newcomer to the game, check out how to do that. It's very, very easy. But we're going to take a look at this Bellingham card, lads, right? So essentially what you're going to have here is one of the most complete players in the game for free. So tight possession, low pass, 85 each. You're going to have speed, acceleration, and stamina all in the 80s with that stamina, a very key part of it. This is a true box-to-box -box player. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to show you right here, right? Because when you are using a box-to-box -box player, the main role of the player is to be able to cover from midfield into the box. It's very, very simplified. Obviously, there's more to it than that. But essentially, you want to be getting into those little pockets of space for shots or passing off for an assist, which we'll see in a bit. This is also going to hit you with a defensive uh, build. This build is going to cover everything. We'll show you at the end of the video. You're going to be getting all of these stats in one key build. I have tested this build out in dozens of games, probably 100 games with this Bellingham, right? This is going to be a defensive player. Now, you will need to add blockers of player skill, but this is essentially what you want to do with him as a defensive build. Literally just be a disruptor, get the ball back, do the job of a destroyer while still having the creativity of a box-to-box -box or a creative playmaker or an orchestrator. You've got everything with Bellingham here. He really is a phenomenal card and quite broken, okay? So that's a defensive build of him there, all in the one build, which we'll show you in a sec. And then last but not least, this is probably the one that like a lot of people are using him for. His current role at Real Madrid are going to be uh, are going to be using him, or people that are following him, his journey at Real Madrid are going to be using him as an attacking midfielder. He's scoring lots of goals. We're not going to boost up his shooting too much because we're going to be getting simple tap-ins or getting shots on. And he also has got a nice couple of player skills with outside curler, one touch pass, double touch, that will be able to get on the ball and also finish, right? So this is kind of what you want to do with him here in these positions is to be getting into these little pockets of space and either shooting or popping them off for your uh, for your teammates, okay? And then you've got the beautiful passing as well. One touch passing, of course, seeing that to open up space. So this is the build that we've gone for. This is his base here. We're going to do it in real time for you guys. 50 progression points maxed out at level 26. We're going to go 6 into passing. We're going to go 4 into dribbling. We're going to go 9 into dexterity. The key with the dexterity, lads, is to get that acceleration up to 80 and get the balance above 85. We're also going to only pop in lower body strength plus 2 because we'll have enough with the stamina there. And then aerial strength, we're actually going to go to 83 with physical contact and 10 points into defending for the key stat of this build. And trust me, try this Bellingham build while you can still reset your player progressions for free. Try this build, right? 10 into defending as well. If you want to make a change, if you want to play Bellingham as more of an attacking threat, you can pop those into Dexterity. Instead of 10 for defending, you'd have 8 for defending and 11 for Dexterity. But I definitely think this is the best build by a mile. He'll go up to a 97 overall with a good manager in that team playstyle. And look at those stats. Absolutely insane. Definitely one of my fav favorite players to use. And take this from me. I slated Bellingham and I just could not get on with Bellingham for the first six to nine months of eFootball 23. But in the last couple of patches, he is the dominant center midfielder in the game, him and Barella, okay? So let me know what you guys think. It's a free card. If you are a newcomer, don't forget to sign him. You play 15 games in the match pass and any mode, you'll be able to get your nominating contract. Get Bellingham for free. If you have him and you haven't given him a proper go, try this build and let me know. Until then, I'll talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're liking these new videos as well, lads. Talk to you later.